Okay, back to our drawing and our model. I went ahead and brought this up again just to kind of reiterate what we're trying to do. Okay, see how we got this, you know, RA plat logo that I designed from up here mapped to the surface? Well, we need to map our logo we just designed in Adobe Illustrator and saved as a PNG file to this surface. Okay, well, what is that actually going to look like? Let's go look at SOLIDWORKS and see what I've got up here. I come back here to SOLIDWORKS and I open it up and there's my logo already mapped to the surface of the part. That looks pretty good. That's what we actually want to do. But how do we do that? And what happens if I make a mistake? Well, what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to take this logo off the part. We're going to come back to this and I'm going to show you the process I went to to create my logo attached to the front of my part. Now, notice I put it at, a, at an angle where it's kind of on the front. Well, I did that because I wanted the lighter color of the image uh, on the logo map to the lighter color of the image. So we're going to come back to how I did this, and I'm going to show you, even if you make a mistake, how to fix it, how to put that logo on the part. Does that look pretty good? I think it looks pretty good. Well, here we go. We'll get back to that here in a moment. All right. I went ahead and removed the logo from the front face of the part, this diagonal face. And I'm going to show you how to put it on there, and I'm going to show you how to put it on there wrong and how to fix it. So let's get started with how to do it right first. So I'll go ahead and click on this face. And I'm going to set myself normal to that face. So that means I'm drawing straight on to this face right here. Now, again, we had to make sure that we had Photo View uh, 360 up. Now, if you don't have it up, go to Tools, come down here to scroll on down here. Let's just scroll down. Let's go down here to Add-ins and make sure that you have clicked on Photo View 360 in this file. And also, whenever you start up your new drawings, that will have this or models that will have this as well. Go ahead and hit OK. Now, so let's go ahead and figure out how to put this part on there. So, excuse me, put that decal on there. So I'll come up here to Photo View 360 and I'm going to go to Edit Decal. Now, I have created a directory where I've put my logos. I'm going to scroll up here to the top where my frequently access or quick access and click on SOLIDWORKS. And there's my logo I created in Adobe Illustrator and saved as a PNG file. So I hit OK. And it kind of comes in at a weird angle. And notice how it's got this black background. Well, actually, the black background is good because that means we can use the decal alpha channel, and that's the transparent part of the uh, ping file that we created. Now, remember in the ping file we created, we had transparency set when we created as a ping uh, as a ping file. Now, the PNG file. Uh, one of the cool things about PNG versus JPEG is that it has a transparency capability. JPEGs do not. So we're going to click on the use. Uh, decal image alpha and there that goes away and we see just the outline of our logo that we created now I'm gonna go to mapping here and I'll select on this face make sure I got that I click on this image and it goes away well I go back click on this again kind of zoom out zoom in and then I snap to it one more time now because I set myself normal to that face uh, it comes in orthographically mapped correctly or, or you know, you, you've got it where it's, you know, top, front, right, and it looks good. Now, remember how big the file was we created in Illustrator, so it's kind of big. That's why you're seeing this large outer area. Well, if I want to move that logo up and down, I can do that. So I'm going to kind of center it up right here. Well, I want to scale it up, so I'm just going to go ahead and drag these control corners here down and scale it up, and I'm going to move it around in here just like that. Now, okay, so there it is. So we'll hit check that off. Now we'll come back and look at this in the uh, isometric view, which is this guy right here. And there he is, mapped to the part, just like I want. Well, let's go back to that face again. Let's go to make ourselves normal to it. And let's come up here and see this pretty beautiful multicolored uh, ball. We're going to click on that. And then normally it comes up like this, and I'll show you part one and what it's going to look like if you render it highly rendered. Well, it looks pretty beautiful, actually. If I click on decal, I've got the decal right here. And I can, uh, let's see, make sure we got that decal set. I'm going to come up here and I'm going to add a decal, or I can edit a decal, or I can do whatever. So on that cut face here, I've got my decal in there. Now, what I want to do is I want to get rid of that decal. So I'm going to right mouse click and say delete. It's gone. Now, do a control seven. Actually, let's go ahead and uh, use the bar up here and do a control and it shows me an isometric. So if I do a control one, shows me that view, control two, shows me that view, three, this view, and then the face, but I want to be on the face again. Well, let's pretend like we weren't in the face correctly and we're just going to come out here and go add a decal. Edit, 
go find our decal again image path we'll go all the way back up here to the top to our frequently access or wherever you saved it go to SolidWorks and there's the decal I'm just gonna slap it on there just grab it and slap it on there up oh, put it in upside down oh gosh what am I gonna do well let's edit that decal by coming over here right mouse click again remember we go to our pretty shiny ball here and we come over here to say edit decal and I do a right mouse click and edit that decal well I can rotate it around 360 degrees like this okay well I can't really see it that well so let's set it let's set ourselves normal ah two select normal faces can't do that well I'll click on this and I'm gonna go ahead and set normal to it go back to my decal go back to mapping click on this face and there it is see it's kinda it's not right so I'm gonna just uh, take this handle here just kinda rotate it around where I think it looks kinda square uh, or, or orthographically correctly mapped to it I'm gonna again scale it back up again okay I'm gonna make it really big zoom out a little bit okay there it is now again to get rid of the black I'm gonna go back over here to the image and I'm gonna say use color decal uh, the, the decal image alpha channel that's that transparent part I'm gonna hit OK and accept that alright go back to future manager do a control 7 for ISO and there it is again you know if you got back view here you can do uh, go back here and say isometric and you've got it there and if you don't have this up on your menu you can always come over here to uh, this view here and you can say I don't look at it in that view does it that view or I can come back to this again and I say I want to look at it in ISO okay kinda nice so there it is so now we've customized our part that we've created that's a good thing that shows prospective customers or prospective uh, employers or even universities where you go that you really know how to use SOLIDWORKS and you can customize a part you can put the logo on there it looks awesome so what I want you to do now is I want you to go ahead and save this model in fact let's do that real quick Let's rebuild it first, always rebuild it, and then we'll save it, and we're going to come back and create a drawing. That's going to be fun, too. So I'll see you in a minute.